Today, I will try to answer this one important question. Should you play your games at the highest graphical settings possible? Now the answer is a little bit easier than you may realize, but there are definitely some things that we need to consider. Let me explain. Hey guys, and welcome back to Kobe's Tech. It's your boy Kobe, and in this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the graphical settings in video games. Now usually, if you buy yourself a new graphics card, like an RTX 3070 or a 3080, normally you would want to make the most out of that card. You want to max out every single setting you can in the game to make sure you are getting the best experience out there. I mean, why would you even buy a powerful graphics card and not use all of its power, right? But what about those with lower end cards, like a GTX 1060 or an RX 570? Now the easier answer would be budget, but also consider that you may not need a ton of power to run the games that you might personally enjoy the most. So today, I'm going to find out if playing games at their highest settings is worth it based on the details that you would notice and while also seeing the differences in performance. We're going to be testing three games at 1440p ultra wide with the computer that you see back here. We're going to be testing Watch Dogs Legion, Forza Horizon 4, and Valorant. Now why these three games? Because I wanted to test these games that are different in genres to see how each kind stacks up on both quality and performance. So let's just start off with Watch Dogs Legion to see how a single player game stacks up. Now the first game we have up is Watch Dogs Legion, a beautiful single player game that shines the best at night. Looking at the ultra preset in this first image, you see how all of the lighting looks and how the shadows emerge from the lighting. You also notice all the nice reflections from the striped roof and details on them as well. Now stepping down from ultra to high, doesn't really make a huge difference overall. You might see how the edges are less sharp, but the overall details are pretty much the same. You won't notice as much in this image. But stepping down to low, you do see more noticeable changes however. Everything seems darker than before, you lose details on the roof as the colors look more blended in like it was blurred, and you lose some details on certain parts like the cages and crate down here as well as this roof. The fence on top looks so dark, it's actually hard to even make out that there's a fence here anymore. You definitely lose some aspects on details in the lowest quality here. Same thing applies to this image here. Going from ultra to high, you might notice a few changes, but if you have never seen the ultra quality preset, you might think that high quality looks fantastic as it is. There isn't anything too specific to speak of here, apart from some specific sharpness that you lose but that's something you really have to look to notice. Stepping down to low quality, that's where you start to see the differences. You notice that there are less reflections in the waters, the wall on the left looks more blurry and less detailed, as well as just the overall scope of the image. Things are rendered in much lower quality here that it looks like you're playing a game that's 10 years old. In a single player game that prides itself in extreme details, you don't want to play in the lowest quality. Even looking at the benchmarks, you may gain up to 20% more FPS, but you're still hovering around that 50 to 60 FPS mark. Losing a few FPS to get as many details as you get, get in a game, this beautiful is worth it in my opinion. But that doesn't mean you need to play at Ultra. You should probably stick to the second highest quality preset, because Ultra, in this specific case, doesn't do much to create a better visual experience, in my opinion. Next game we have up is Forza Horizon 4. A racing game, in my opinion, offers a good balance between wanting to get great FPS while also having great quality in the details of the cars and the road. Let's check out a still image from its ultra preset. Here we see some nice details. People in the stands, shadows, the colors and letters on the signs are nice and easy to read. Moving on to the medium preset, you see that you lose a few things. First, there are less people in the stands, the text on the sign looks like they are rendered in low quality so everything looks more bold and blurry on the edges. The shadows are still here, although they don't look good as ultra quality, 
and you see the reflections on the car aren't as detailed as before. Now stepping down to the very low preset, you see that everything is gone but the cars. No shadows, no reflections, the texts are blurry, barely any fans, it's just the cars, the road, and whatever little details on the sides you can see, but that's pretty much it. In a game like Forza, where you want to both enjoy the way the car looks in all lighting and you want high and smooth frame rates, you want a preset in which allows you to enjoy details and performance. Looking at the preset benchmarks, you see how it scales up. I honestly believe that the sacrifice of details in very low quality is not worth it. You would definitely want to try medium and up to see what the individual would prefer. Even though you wouldn't lose too much FPS at Ultra, the differences aren't that big going from medium and up, but if you want the best performance possible, well of course, very low is the way to go. And finally, is an esports game that's highly competitive, Valorant. There's only three available graphical settings in this game, high, medium, and low. This is a very vibrant looking game that doesn't focus too much on graphical details. Going from high to medium setting in this scene, you notice a few differences, but not so much that it will make a difference when playing competitively. There isn't much in the way of shadows, but some areas like the wall and the boats lose some detail that it becomes darker. Also, you do lose some details on the floors. There are less cracks and some random patches that you would see are lost here in medium settings. Going from medium to low, you see that the floors almost look clean and you lose more detail on the right wooden wall here, which somehow makes the scene look brighter than before. That can also be contributed by the ceiling that is also shown with way less details than before. Also, in this outside scene in low settings, you see that everything looks decent. The walls look very clean with very little detail, but overall you can clearly see details in the trees and the leaves. Bumping it up to medium, you notice that the walls have more details, the bush in the back shows way more leaves, and overall the scene has more shadows to give it a natural look. And in high settings, you notice way more leaves and details on the floors, but that's pretty much it to my eyes. In a game like Valorant, where it is a highly competitive FPS, visual details do not matter much. You care more of the performance. Make sure you get high and steady frame rates to make sure you are in the prime position for a kill. Considering my benchmarks you see here, it might be beneficial to play at the lowest settings, especially if you have those high refresh rate monitors, as opposed to being able to see more leaves on the floor to make sure you are in the best optimal position to win games. Now, like I mentioned earlier, these are just three games of different genres that help provide different aspects to graphical settings. Now, you can clearly see why I chose these games and where my conclusion would be. So basically, in large scale single player games like Watch Dogs, Cyberpunk, and Assassin's Creed, for example, you would be best playing in higher settings because you would lose details on the game that might make or break the overall scope and beauty of those games. Now, maybe not the highest setting possible, but maybe the second highest, depending on the game, would be more than enough. You might get a small bump on FPS, but you would definitely have most, if not all of the graphical details that the game is intended to have. Now, on a racing game like Forza Horizon 4, it's a mixed bag because you want high frame rates for a competitive edge, but you also want to still enjoy the scenery and car details to make for a much better experience. And for a competitive first person shooter like Valorant, you just want high frames. The graphical settings really don't do much in the way of overall experience and the graphical details, so you might as well want the highest frame rates possible. Now of course there's a few things I did not go over like the potential risk of increasing your CPU bottleneck of games when lowering the graphical settings, because that is definitely a thing you should be worrying about depending on your hardware. Now really quick, looking at the benchmark runs of Watch Dogs Legion, the lower I go in quality, the higher my CPU load becomes. Now this won't be a huge issue for most, but depending on your hardware on your PC, the higher the CPU load, it can actually result in a higher latency and stutters, so definitely be aware of that. But as you can see, depending on the game, 
you definitely should pay mind to what settings you set for your graphics. It's not always highest is the best. It's definitely case dependent, but don't let it fool you. Playing every single game in ultra settings might be the easiest route to choose and can definitely give you bragging rights because your PC can definitely handle it, but not all games require you to play like that. And sometimes you actually might be playing at a setting where it can actually be detrimental to both the quality and the performance. So definitely make sure that you guys are checking how you play your games. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I want us to just take a very small dive into graphical settings because I always hear the same thing over and over again. People are always saying, why not play your games at the max settings? It's how the game is supposed to be played at. But clearly it's not. I hope you guys were able to learn a little bit from this because I certainly have and it was actually kind of cool to see the actual results. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit like and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we will see you all in the next one.